All right, everyone, it is day two of um, Kia Stinger event, and it's November 16th, so it's Tuesday, and we're heading into breakfast. I'm super excited. I'm really, really hungry. Last night I was so full, I was food coming and I was like slightly in pain, but like this morning I woke up and I'm like, I'm so hungry. So let's see, we have fresh fruit over here, which I love. I think that's an omelet or a crepe bar over there. And then let's see, we have some pastries and oh, the warm goods, the goods, the goods, the goods. Okay, everyone, so I got an omelet, it looks bomb. And then I got some sausage, bacon, fruits. This omelet though is everything. There's smoked salmon inside. Oh, smoked salmon! Oh, you got the smoked salmon? Oh, yeah, look at this. I made sure he loaded it up. I'm excited. Do it again. Sorry. Smoked salmon! Okay, everyone, so this is our baby for the day. It is in the color ceramic silver, which I still like James Bell's idea of calling it wet cement. I feel like that's just so much more like fitting for it, but it's such a beautiful, unique color. I've never seen a car like this color. I'm super excited to test drive it. Um, inside the interior is red or like a very dark maroon, which I'm not the biggest fan of. You guys know I like just classic black or um, like my color, like the onyx color, really nice, like cool tone beige, but I mean, it's a sports car, so <laughs> red it is. This is like the perfect music. Tanja's natural force. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be riding any roller coasters today, but instead we're gonna do a different type of thrill and that is driving Kia Stingers through a obstacle course. It looks so sick. And then there are also competitive cars that we can drive today. So I think that'll be interesting. From driving the Stinger, like I have to say, it drives a little bit nicer than Phoebe. So it is really cool. It is a sport car. It just, the acceleration is just insane, which is totally cool. So I'm super excited. Okay, so this is going to be the best vlog angle I can get from here. It's either this or down here, but I feel like we'll stick to up here. But, uh, so I just finished driving the Audi A7. That acceleration is crazy, and the steering was really good. I kind of like the steering a little bit more than the Kia Stinger, but the acceleration is definitely on par. But, to be fair, I didn't drive the Kia Stinger on this course yet, so I definitely have to drive on this course to really have a fair comparison but now i'm in a bmw i'm in the bmw 440 440 yeah 440 um series so this is like a top of the line like crazy sport um sports car so really nice um from just looking at it and touching it um the audi a7 that i was in definitely had nicer features like the screen could go down like everything just felt nicer but this definitely feels really nice as well and i'm gonna try to um vlog for you all that nice purr hopefully i don't drop the camera the camera doesn't fall that would kind of suck that happened to my phone so all right you're good thank you here we go But alright, so like I said, yeah, the Kia is doing really well. There's also an Infiniti, the BMW 4 Series that I also very, very like, very much liked compared to the Kia. Another BMW, the Audi's not as great, and then this car I still want to try is the Porsche, which is all the way over there, so. It's just such a cool experience, oh my gosh. Alright everyone, it's time for you to drive the Porsche, so we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna leave you guys. Oh, I'll hold all right. it. Oh, Ryan's gonna hold you. Thanks, Ryan. Oh. Got you. I'm excited here. To see how a basically hundred thousand dollar car drives. Don't fuck it up. I'm Thanks. sorry. Don't f it up. <laughs> Thanks. I love that you have faith in me. I have not hit a cone yet. Ready? Ah! Oh my. 
my god. <laughs> it's actually, for my style of driving, I like the BMW and the uh, Kia better so far. The, the way it goes around turns is very stiff. Like you really have to tug on it for it to go or to turn. Oh my gosh, my hair's a mess. But I will admit the drive is very smooth. You can feel that the car is really aerodynamic. I can't believe you're talking right now. <laughs> oh my god. It's different being the driver and being a passenger. And yeah, I feel like the acceleration isn't as smooth. It like changes gears, so when you accelerate, it like accelerates and then it like has a like change of gear. So I feel like it's not as smooth because you can feel those gear changes while you're accelerating. All right, Ryan gets it up, we're going, thanks. <laughs> All right, so now it's lunchtime. So we have a grilled cheese truck called the original grilled cheese truck. We have a Perkside coffee truck. Unfortunately, I'm not a coffee drinker, so we're just gonna booze on my hair. And then we have a keep on grubbing truck, which I think has like burgers and fries and stuff. Yeah, burgers, fries. All right, once so I got lunch, I got some mac and cheese, and I got a chicken avocado melt. Look at, oh God, look at that. Beautiful. It's good. All right, so there we have all the Kia Stingers and all the cars that it went up against today. Lexus, Infiniti, BMW, Audi, Porsche, Yup, this happened. All right, hey everyone, Ryan by Ryan Chua, back at it again, vlogging for me as I drive. So a whole different type of driving vlog, and obviously I'm in the Kia Stinger, which drives like butter. It's so quiet, so smooth, it accelerates effortlessly, but still has that purr of a sports car. So truly, I'm impressed. I knew that there was a lot of hype about the Kia Stinger like before we came to this event. Like I knew everyone was talking about it and at the last Kia event, everyone was so excited about it. But now I truly understand why and why this is such a big deal and how Kia is truly disrupting the market by bringing a consumer, like affordable sports car that can perform just as well, in my opinion, as the BMW 4 Series. Like that was like crazy being able to drive the BMW, drive an Audi, drive a Porsche, hop into a Kia and not feel much of a difference. So like, I'm truly impressed. Everything about this car is amazing. Of course, there are some things that you will have to pay for if you want the upgrades, like blind spot detection, heads up display, which I think is very important. But just to have an amazing car like this, a sports car, amazing sports car like this, for a fraction of the price of other sports cars, but still have that same performance, like that drive. Of course, if you're gonna buy a car for the brand name, you're gonna buy a car for the brand name. But if you want a car with great drive and performance, like, and get that feeling of your in sports car, this is it. So, yeah, we're gonna be home in like 20 minutes, so I'll keep you all posted, but yeah. All right, everyone, so it's dinner time. I'm so excited, I'm hungry already. Uh, Ryan is just coughing, he's so park up. I'm already pretty perky. Uh, I actually didn't take a nap. I ended up just like, yeah, going through photos that I we took. Take a nap eater. I was so excited, all the photos I was going through. So, okay. out of 1,200 photos we took, I like, well, like I kept 120 of them. <laughs> but it's not because Ryan's a bad photographer. It was me, like, like derpy faces. <laughs> I'm really excited to see what Kia has in store for us. And I hope you all are as well. This is going to be like a Kia supper club dinner like it's supposed to be themed after the like supper club breakfast club. I don't know I'm not from the 1970s uh oh food I see lots of food and of course the bar let's go to the bar <laughs> to the bar all right so this is super cute each booth is a different country so here we have Spanish beans and mussels oh my gosh I need so much of this mussels and calamari oh my gosh that's happening over here, Germany, we have bratwurst. It's beautiful. <laughs> and then over here, we have the Alps, which is, oh, fruit? Oh, cute. So fruit, Swiss, oh my gosh, Swiss desserts. Oh yeah, and fruit, okay. And then the other booths are on the other side, so let's go check those out. We have Southern California, so we have basically salad, guac, oh my gosh, a bowl of guac. And then over here, taco truck. Oh my gosh, yes, yeah, definitely gonna get some of that. And then the last booth, 
is over here. And it's Korea. Ooh, tell me this Korean barbecue. Oh my gosh, there's this fresh grill. Oh my god, short ribs, I'm dead. You guys. Yeah. You guys. Korean barbecue, squid, mussels, prosciutto, chicken tacos with guac. I know the lighting, like, you can't tell the difference of anything, but I swear to you, it's bomb.